The Dwarven Kingdom is said to have spanned the length and breadth of Thedas, and is home to some of the greatest mysteries in the Dragon Age lore. The memories kept in Orzammar say that the Great Kingdom reached beyond the mountains, and that there were tigers almost beyond counting. What little we have seen or do know of the deep roads and the tigers that they connect is limited, but the picture we're given in brief snippets throughout lore and history and exploration is larger than any one video could hope to properly convey. Great feats of architecture, with statues of paragons no one now remembers. Fantastic constructions above and below land that span from the hills of the storm coast to the deserts of Orlais. The Dwarven Empire's outpost at the sea existed long before the town of Guarin, and its embassy at Minrathus was only one of many across the surface. The winding halls of the deep roads were a marvel in and of themselves, and the tiges contain over 2,000 years of palaces and wonders the world has never before seen and never will see again. Each of those tigers was a kingdom all its own, with every tig, even the twelve great tigers, swearing fealty to the High King of the Dwarves, whose seat since Endrin Stonehammer's reign was Orzammar. Now all but Orzammar and the recently rediscovered Kal Shirak have been lost, a kingdom as large as Thedas itself, lost to the Darkspawn and the Blight. Once those tigers were the lifeblood of an empire, with territory so vast and history so old, that much has been forgotten, from wars that raged in times immemorial, to massive monuments like the staggering pillars of Kadalash and Gundar's house of crystalline waters. Great achievements of engineering from the creation of golems to the shaping of the earth itself have been lost to the ravages of time. It is easy, at least on the surface, to forget that the Darkspawn do not sleep. In the depths of the deep roads, in the years between the blights, the battles rage on, and it is a war the dwarves are losing. This series will be a long one and we'll tackle it as a journey, starting in the familiar but foreign palaces of Orzammar, and then extending down into the deep roads in pursuit of its greatest mysteries, through the halls of Caradin's Cross and the empty catacombs of Bunamar, from the sanctuary of Kadash where the elves sheltered from the Imperium, to the depths of Hedron and the prisons of the Archdemons. We will explore what we know of the ancestral homes of House Ortan and House Verin. We will dig into the depths of Kulbaris, Kalbarash, Rusten, and the mysteries of Valdesine. Our journey will bring us back to the site of Bartrand's Folly, and to the sandy ruins of Paragon Phyrell's Kalrapatha. We will span the length and breadth of Thedas as the Old Kingdom once did itself, in tigers both shallow and deep, both recent and ancient, both known and forgotten. I trust Naltunsha, may you always find your way in the dark. Hi guys, Hiver Reigns here. This week's video was short, but it's a taste of what we'll be looking at going forward. This series has already involved upwards of 30 hours of research alone, and that research is not yet done. Hopefully this introduction gave you a good idea of how massive an undertaking this series will be, and how much time and effort it will take. Please, if you like my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon. Without my Patreon supporters, I cannot continue to provide this content or put in the effort to make it. I have no other source of income right now, and every little bit helps. Helps. Special thanks to my current supporters who have all the gratitude in the world from me. You're keeping my lights on guys and helping me buy food, so thank you for that, now and always.